Hi, welcome to Ashokumar channel physics. Uh, today, today we are going to discuss about another concept in the electromagnetism. So that is uh, uh, continuous concept uh, to the previous one. That is uh, finding the direction of magnetic field by using another method which is Maxwell Kirk screw rule. So in the previous video, we said about uh, the finding the direction of magnetic field uh, by using the right hand thumb rule in a circular coil. Circular coil of manam right hand thumb rule use si, if a direction of the current is in the clockwise direction, then face of the coil is south pole. And if a direction of current is in the anti-clockwise direction, then face of the coil appeared as north pole. So now by using the Maxwell Kirk screw rule also, we can find out the direction of the magnetic field here. Suppose uh, what is the Maxwell Kirk screw rule? So if you rotate the screw in the direction of the current, so the rotation of the screw indicates the direction of the current and in which direction the screw will move because of the rotation that shows the direction of the magnetic field. Suppose uh, here uh, direction of the current is in the clockwise direction. If direction of current is in the clockwise direction, then rotation of the screw has to show the direction of the current and a screw will rotate in the clockwise direction. Then screw will move into the board. Screw will move into the board global mode. And if you rotate the screw in the direction of the current, direction of current will rotate then screw will move into the board. That shows the direction of the magnetic field. So, I am rotating the screw in the direction of the current then screw will move into the board. Into the board means the direction of the magnetic field is into the board. Direction of magnetic field is to the board global. So as it is moving into the board the face of the coil appeared as a south pole and on the other side it is north pole. So within the bar, within the magnet, uh, magnetic lines are moving from south to north. So this appeared as south pole and that side Miku north pole, south to north. This appeared as south. Okay. And if direction of current is in the anti-clockwise direction, then you need to rotate the screw in the anti-clockwise direction. If I am rotating the screw in the anti-clockwise direction, so if I am rotating the screw in the anti-clockwise direction, then screw will move outward of the board, outside of the board. So then screw will rotate as the screw is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction then it moves in this direction that means that the direction of the magnetic field is coming out of the board board ki bite ko chest on the screw if you rotate in the anti-clockwise direction bite ko chest on to the kapati so here is the south pole at side one south pole on to the face of the coil what i am seeing appeared as not to go okay so this is another rule to find out the direction of the magnetic field direction. So, and I will say a convenient method and a very easy method to find out the direction of the, that means the direction of the magnetic field in a circular coil. So, that means a reverse of right hand thumb rule, reverse of right hand thumb rule. So, if you rotate, actually what is the right hand thumb rule will say? So, if you show the direction of current with thumb, thumb has to show the direction of the current then curl of your finger shows the direction of magnetic field then you can reverse this and thumb shows the direction of the magnetic field and curl of your finger shows the direction of the current so if current is in the clockwise direction curl of your finger shows the direction of the current current will show this then magnetic field is into the board curl of your finger shows the direction of the current then thumb shows the direction of the magnetic field then the direction of the magnetic field is into the board magnetic field around into the board that means that this appeared as south pole outside me north pole so the, suppose if current is in the anti-clockwise direction then again use the reverse of right hand thumb rule that means current shows that current is shown by the curl of your fingers current cavity. so current is shown by the curl of your fingers then the direction of the thumb shows the direction of the magnetic field which is outside the board so that means uh, then magnetic field is uh, shown coming out of the board magnetic field coming out of the board and the outside because south pole onto the make face of the tile appeared as not so this is a very convenient method which is uh, used by me also so this is chala easy kabati circular tile magnetic field direction can code and Generally, I will use uh, this one, which is a reverse of right hand thumb rule. Okay. So, as the uh, magnetic field is into the board, 
into the board and pradesari manu ila chupichalem kabati deeniki oka technical method undi uh, magnetic field is into the board and suppose uh, if current is in the clockwise direction current in the clockwise direction lo unde pradesari nenu ila magnetic field into the board chupichalem kabati just uh, i am writing like this if i am writing like this uh, this is said uh, magnetic field is into the board into this is said to be into magnetic field is into the board so if current is uh, in the anti clockwise direction then magnetic field is out of the board out of the board means i have to show like this so this is said to be magnetic field is into the board and here it is said to be magnetic field is outside the board so this is the technical indication so magnetic field is into the board and magnetic field is out and ila rashan ante direction into ila rashan ante direction is outside so this is how we are using technical terms okay now by using this method our maxwell clark school rule method or right hand thumb rule or reverse of right hand thumb rule whatever you you are going to use you need to show the same direction of the magnetic field edana meeku magnetic field oke direction la chupistundi okay now we are entering into another concept which is the solenoid which is very important in the daily life solenoid okay what do you mean by the solenoid solenoid is nothing but a continuous connection of circular coils on a insulated material so if you are using an insulated material insulated material means which does not allow the current that is said to be insulated material so if it connect a solid metallic conductor a solid metallic conductor in the form of rings a continuous connection of rings a continuous connection of circular coils rings or circular coils whatever you can call a continuous connection this is said to be the solenoid that means uh, it must be like this a continuous connection of uh, circular coils a long wire which is rotated which is made like this a long wire is made like this okay that is said to be the solenoid but uh, this one this one is uh, said to be inside that means outside of uh, this uh, uh insulated material and ide em chupisundante back side of the insulated material idi front side of the insulated material and the back side malli meeku vere untundi so there is a back side of the material back side anni chupichalem kabatti just i am showing like this so this is solenoid okay if you connect if a current is passed in a solenoid in, in this direction that means the current is passing like this and back side of the so conductor it is uh, in the upward direction and again front side of the conductor the direction of the current is in the downward direction and then back side of the insulated material current is in the upward direction again front side it is downward direction so all these are front side of the insulated material always uh, in the front side of the material the current direction is in the downward direction so always uh, this one is uh, showing the front side of the conductor even me insulated material ki front side idantha so that means the current is in the downward direction here so that means the current is entering like this and it is moving in the upward direction and again it continues in the downward direction again it moves in the upward direction again it continues in the downward direction again it moves in the upward direction likewise you will get the currents currents direction ila vastundi mari okay na so this is the direction of the current on a solenoid so then how the magnetic field is uh, developed on a solenoid so solenoid lo magnetic field ela create ayyadu solenoid lo magnetic field so magnetic field direction kanukodaniki we are having so many rules so all these are the circular coils circular coils lo magnetic field direction kanukodaniki you can use the right hand thumb rule you can use the maxwell clark screw rule or you can use the reverse of right hand thumb rule then uh, using the reverse of right hand thumb rule which is easy to find out the direction of magnetic field in a circular coil so circular coil lo magnetic field kanukonte kanukovalante i want to use the reverse of right hand thumb rule reverse of right hand thumb rule is nothing but 
the curl of your finger shows the direction of the magnetic field. So, this is the curl. Suppose, if this is an insulated material, then coil is wounded like this. Coil, ila wound. Just. That means, uh, this is the circular coil. As it is the circular coil, here is the direction of current is in the downward direction. And here the direction of current is in the upward direction. This is a circular coil. Okay. So, as the then curl of your finger shows the direction of the current. So, direction of current front of the insulated material is in the downward direction and here is it in the upward direction. This is the direction of the current then curl of your finger shows the direction of the magnetic field. So, here the magnetic field is in this direction. So, as it is moving in this direction where it is coming outwards this is said to be north pole and it where it enters this is said to be south pole. So, that means uh, here you will get a south pole and here you will get a north pole. So, for one conductor, if you take uh, for one circular conductor, for a one circular conductor, if you take one circular conductor, so here the current, so under the current allows to me to bite post on the board and bite post on the bite and the man mela to be sound like this current is the bite post on this is said to be outwards of current direction and here it is entering into the board board local level to me to bite. So here coming out of the board, so I can make board to bite close to the cover. The direction of the current is in the downward direction, and here is uh, that is into the board. Here it is entering into the board. So that means uh, this is uh, front of the conductor, front of the insulated material. The ne insulated material to front side, idi back side, back side and the e level to. So again uh, it enters like this. Okay. So, as the direction of the current, uh, not like this, just uh, take this one. So, this is a circular curve. In front of the conductor, it is moving in this direction, back side of the conductor, it is moving in the upward direction. Okay. This is coming outer side and it is coming inside. Okay. So, as it is showing the direction of the current, the direction of current here is in front of the insulated material direction of current is inwards and the downwards only and here the current is in the upward direction so this is the direction of the current then the thumb of your finger shows the direction of the magnetic field so here magnetic field direction this is the direction of magnetic field line and inside you will get like this okay so if another circular coil is attached Inkoka circular coil attaches there. Again, this is uh, this one which is inside and uh, this one is on the back side of the insulated material. Okay. So then again, uh, you will get the magnetic field. So magnetic field malli allows to me ko coil low pala inside will dundi and coil ko baita allows. So that means uh, these two are going to add. Here and there add a pote me ko ultimate ka allows to me. The direction of the magnetic field because of the two circular coils is like this. Here into straight line or into add I put then you will get a magnetic field like this. And outside, outside magnetic field is like this. But uh, outside of the mag outside magnetic field, make you cancel I put on So, I do that. Make you check that. And this is the direction of the magnetic field inside the coil. Coil local make magnetic field along the okay direction and it is a straight line. Coil local magnetic field is straight line. So and uh, always uh, it makes a straight line magnetic field. So straight line magnetic field create out. And here also on the upward direction also it creates a straight line magnetic field. So in the upward direction also magnetic field is a straight line. And because of uh, so many circular coils, uh, you will get so many parallel magnetic field here. Magnetic field inside the coil is always parallel. Always it is parallel. Okay. Now, what about the magnetic field outside the coil? Outside the coil magnetic field is not only. Outside the coil magnetic field, suppose if you take one coil here, another coil is here. 
the direction of the current which is in front of the insulated material is this one this is the back side of the insulated material this is in front of the insulated material this is the back of the insulated material so then magnetic field outside suppose if you take here the magnetic field is so which is this one so this is the current direction then the magnetic field is like this one magnetic field allows to me to the direction of the magnetic field is in this direction and here also the direction of the magnetic here this is straight line and here also the direction of magnetic field is like this so which is here is a straight line so now these two ee rendu em avutunnai pakka pakka nunnai kabatti ee rendu add aipothe these two lines are going to add then you will get a straight line magnetic field here and what about the outside outside magnetic field outside magnetic field em avutundi outside magnetic field so e magnetic field e magnetic field cancel aipothundi because uh, this is coming downward direction and here the magnetic field is coming upward direction these two magnetic fields are going to get cancel and these two magnetic fields are also going to get cancel because this magnetic field is moving in the upward direction and this magnetic field is moving in the downward direction these two magnetic fields are also going to get cancel and outside the solenoid the magnetic fields are going to get cancel what about the inside inside the magnetic fields could cancel out there kaavu endrante inside the magnetic field the magnetic field is in this direction here also the magnetic field is in the same direction inside the magnetic field the magnetic fields direction ela undi same direction ante inside em avuthay avi add aipothe add aipothe kabatti meeku straight line vastundi add kaakapothe meeku straight line raadu so ee straight line magnetic field ee straight line magnetic field malli meer inkoka insulated circular ka inkoka coil teeskunte akkada inside magnetic field anni meeku add aipoyi then you will get a straight line magnetic field that means a parallel magnetic field is inside a parallel magnetic field is developed inside a circular coil సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్స్ లోపల ఒక ప్యారలల్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ డెవలప్ అవుతుంది అండ్ సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ కి బయట ఏమవుతుంది మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇస్ దిస్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ దిస్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ ఈ రెండు క్యాన్సిల్ అయిపోతాయి ఈ రెండు క్యాన్సిల్ అయిపోతాయి అవుట్ సైడ్ ద బార్ మ్యాగ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ద సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ ఆల్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ సో అవుట్ సైడ్ ఏమవుతుంది మీకు మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ మొత్తం క్యాన్సిల్ అయిపోతుంది యు ఆర్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎనీ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ కి మనకు ఎలాంటి మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఉండదు బట్ ఇన్ సైడ్ దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ parallel lines of magnetic field inside em undey maniki parallel lines of magnetic fields undey and those parallel lines are equally spaced equally spaced means so you are having so many parallel magnetic field lines maniki chaala magnetic field lines vaste parallel so din valla oka parallel magnetic field din valla oka parallel magnetic field next circular coil valla oka parallel magnetic field likewise we do have so many parallel magnetic fields so all are in the same direction that means which increases the magnetic field strength which makes a very strong magnet because of these are parallel lines so a strong magnetism develop out there inside the solenoid which makes a uniform magnetic field all the parallel lines parallel lines are equally spaced which forms a uniform magnetic field okay uniform magnetic field develop chestu solenoid what is the use of solenoid means it forms a uniform magnetic field ఇది ఒక యూనిఫామ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ డెవలప్ చేసి అండ్ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ ఆల్సో ఓకే సో ఇన్ సైడ్ ద సోల్ నైడ్ ఈ సోల్ నైడ్ లోపల ఇఫ్ యూ యాడ్ ఏ ఐరన్ బార్ ఒక ఐరన్ బార్ యాడ్ చేస్తే వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ సో ఇన్ సైడ్ ద సోల్ నైడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ యాడ్ అన్ ఐరన్ బార్ ఒక ఐరన్ బార్ యాడ్ చేస్తే ఐరన్ బార్ యాడ్ చేస్తే ఏంటి దిస్ ఈజ్ లైక్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద సోల్ నైడ్ సో you are having a solenoid like this inside the solenoid i am adding a iron bar iron bar place chestunnan solenoid lokala i am placing an iron bar what i mean sir so inside the solenoid there are magnetic field lines which are in this direction a strong magnetic field is developed by the parallel lines parallel lines valla manaku oka strong magnetic field develop avutundi so that means uh, these parallel lines uh, will rub this uh, iron bar iron bar nu em chestunnattu rub chestunnattu so these are rubbing the iron bar iron bar nu okay direction lo rub chestunnayi and we have seen uh, 
in the previous class that means in the sixth class uh, how do you make a temporary magnet so how do you make your own magnet magnet ela tayar chestam ante we will take an iron bar and we will take a bar magnet we will rub in one direction okay direction lo rub chesthe em avutundi then iron bar becomes as a magnet temporary magnet so this is also the same case sir. so these magnetic lines which are very strong so these are rubbing the bar magnet bar magnet name chestune okay direction lo rub chestune so then the bar magnet that means the iron bar becomes as a bar magnet iron bar em avutundi meeku bar magnet la tayar avutundi iron bar becomes as a magnet iron bar nu manam magnet laga tayar chestam if you use the soft iron core soft iron core use chesthe meer current off chesthe soft iron core lo magnetism kuda pothundi if you use a hard iron core so then if you switch off the current then it uh, the uh, magnetism in the iron will not uh, erase so soft iron core use chesthe అంటే మనకి మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఉంటాయి ఫెరో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ పారా మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ లైక్ వైజ్ వీఆర్ హ్యాంగ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్స్ సాఫ్ట్ ఐరన్ కోర్ అనేది ఒక టైప్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ మెటీరియల్ అది మీకు తర్వాత వస్తుంది ఇంటర్ లో విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిజం అండ్ మ్యాగ్నెట్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ వాటిలో వస్తుంది బట్ అదంతా అవసరం లేదు ఇక్కడ సో ఇఫ్ యూ యూజ్ ద సాఫ్ట్ ఐరన్ కోర్ సాఫ్ట్ ఐరన్ కోర్ ఏమవుతుంది అంటే టెంపరీ మ్యాగ్నెట్ గా మారుతుంది టెంపరీ మ్యాగ్నెట్ అంటే ఇఫ్ యూ స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద కరెంట్ the magnetism in the iron core becomes a zero and a temporary magnetism pothun soft iron core ade place lo soft iron core place lo meer oka hard iron core ledante oka nickel steel ilanti rods use chesarante then you can make them as a permanent magnets ante meer current off chesina kuda vaatlo magnetism pothu magnetism alage permanent ayipothundi so that means uh, this is how we can make make the electromagnets electromagnets ila tayar chestam so here you are having a uniform magnetic field so you may ask the questions like this uh, so what is the use of uh, solenoid or which can makes uh, a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field evaru tayar chestaru ante how can you make a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field meer ela chestaru how can you make a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field we can made by using the solenoid solenoid construction solenoid use cheste uniform magnetic field develop avutundi inside the solenoid so that is the use of uh, solenoid solenoid use a uniform magnetic field develop cheyadam uniform magnetic field develop cheyadam ante okay direction lo so then it is rubbing the iron core here iron core no rub chestundundi kabatti then you can make the iron core as a permanent magnet or a temporary magnet that depends on uh, type of iron core you are choosing so ye iron core you choose chestunnaru ane danni batti adi temporary magnet ga martunda ledha permanent magnet ga martunda anedi mee ishtam kada okay na so this is the solenoid which is very important one also thank you thank you for the today's class in the next class we are going to discuss about uh, if a current carrying wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field ilanti uniform magnetic field lo ఒక కరెంట్ క్యారింగ్ వైర్ ను ప్లేస్ చేస్తే దెన్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఏ ఫోర్స్ దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ వీ విల్ యూజ్ ద ఫ్లెమింగ్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రూల్ అండ్ బై యూజింగ్ దట్ వన్ వీ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద మోటార్ వర్కింగ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ ద టు డేస్ క్లాస్ సో హోప్ యూ హ్యావ్ అండర్స్టూడ్ దిస్ వన్ సోల్ నైట్ సో యూ నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద సోల్ నైట్ బికాస్ it has a daily life applications daily life applications chala unnai solenoid anedi okay thank you